In this tutorial we are going to learn how to use the tape measure tool and the tape measure tool belongs to the construction toolbar and this toolbar if not already turned on can be found under view toolbars and construction. So we have um, a few little objects that we created in a previous um, tip, the offset tool tip. If we were to measure using the tape measure we could go to the end of this wall here for example and click on the first point click on the second point and it tells me that it's 641 millimeters if I come over to here um, I could do an edge to an edge so instead of an end point to an end point I'm going to go edge and I'm going to go to the inside edge and click there and that will then tell me the distance which is 90 millimeters and leave a construction line as well so what's quite cool is let's say I want wanted to add an extra room to this little shape here I could come into the edge here I could click to begin and do it by an edge because an edge will give you a continuous guideline whereas if you do it from an end point it will give you a little marker and I'll show you the two just shortly so let's say I bring out this line 3000 for 3000 millimeters and now it gives me a guideline I can use then I can get the line tool and click and draw a line and that breaks that face then if I wanted to um, create another construction line I could click actually on the new construction line and then move it to the right and type 90 enter and then draw a line over top of that construction line. Alright, now I have a surface that I can use. Then if I was to create a room what I possibly could do is I could type in 3000 for the bottom of it and then go back to the start wall there then what I can do, um, like the previous tip under the edit toolbar series, um, we can use the follow me to select the the lines here, follow me tool, we can select the lines then click on the follow me tool, um, then click on the wall profile and that will then sweep that around and create a room. So that's just a way of using the, the guidelines from the tape measure to um, work with. Uh, the other thing we can do is let's say the scale, the size of this this house is a little bit too big. So we might come in here and we might say, okay, I actually we've got 10 meters for that length. It's a bit too bit too big. So I'm going to type in. So sorry, I'm going to click on the first point, click on the second point, and then I'm going to type in what size I want it to be. I want it to be 9,000 and then just press enter after you measure the two points and I'll ask do you want to resize the model um, just be careful because this will resize everything but if we say yes you'll see that it all just slightly changed so I'm just undoing and redoing to just show you the difference so that, that is a way that you can globally resize everything if you need to um, and just lastly before I get I just want to show you um, the endpoint mode so if I went and measured from an endpoint and then typed in um, 2000 enter it leaves you with a marker and you can use that marker to draw from so endpoints leave markers, edges, uh, continuous guidelines and of course you can use the tape measure to measure anything so click an endpoint to an endpoint and it will tell you what that distance is